Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew here from RP Lane 99. Today, I'm going to be looking at web browsers. The two that I have in my dock here are Safari 4 and Firefox 3.5. Now, Firefox isn't my main web browser. I use Safari 4 a lot more. So, obviously, I'm going to any utility or add-on that I'll download will be for Safari. So, I'm going to show you an awesome one today that I recently downloaded called AdBlock. I'll go ahead and go to Safari Preferences here and show you the little icon that comes up. It's called AdBlock. Um, it's made by John Engelhart, so I have him to thank. It's a really great utility. It does exactly what it says. It pretty much blocks any you know, unwanted ads. So I'll open up Firefox here. Remember, I don't have any add-ons installed in Firefox. So I'll go ahead and show you the difference. Um, I'll go to one of my most visited websites every day is MySpace.com. So I'll go to MySpace in both web browsers. And as you can see here in, in Firefox, you know, you have this big old, you know, ad all in your face, blinking, flashing, distracting you from, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, here on Safari where I have the, the add-on installed, it does exactly what it says. It's just not there. So, you know, the page loads a lot faster. It's, you know, you'll get less pop-ups. It's, it's great. Another one is YouTube. That's where you usually get those big old banners across the top or on the, off to the side. Um, today it's off to the side. You can see over here in Firefox you have this, you know, ad or whatever the heck it is. Just kind of there. You know, if you, I don't want it. I just have my main page over here on Safari. And, you know, it's a, it's a great, it's a great plugin. But I, I'm going to tell you one thing. When you Google ad block, it's going to direct you to another application called Glimmer Blocker or at least that's what I think it's called I have it installed here Glimmer Blocker is almost the exact same thing only it's not really an add-on it's more of a utility that you know kinda gives itself a system preferences pane I absolutely hate it I cannot get rid of it I tried um, deleting it one time and it just it changed all my proxy settings and Safari wouldn't work I tried uninstalling Safari and then installing it again and it just it messed up. it still didn't work. I had to install Glimmer Blocker again and once I installed it I couldn't get rid of it. So it's permanently here. It's just, I hate it. I absolutely if I could get rid of it I would. But it, I do not install Glimmer Blocker guys. It's just it's way too complicated. It does a lot of unnecessary things. AdBlock is absolutely perfect. So because of this, I'm going to go ahead and post a link to AdBlock off to the side so you don't accidentally download Glimmer Blocker. It is the worst application I've ever, ever, ever had. I hate it. But anyways, guys, AdBlock, it's great. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's very light, easy to download. Download time for me was about 15 seconds. You know, it's pretty customizable. You know... What more could you want? It's very simple. And that's how I like to do. That's how I like for things to get done. So anyways, guys, that was just a quick video. I'll have a link to the to AdBlock right off to the side in the description box. Um, and I will catch you later, YouTube. Peace out.